Hey there fellow travelers, welcome back to my vlog. Today, I'm thrilled to share my journey with you as we dive in into the world of slow travel. You know, it's all about exploring at a relaxed pace, savoring every moment, and immersing ourselves in the beauty of El Nido, Palawan, Philippines. First things first, let me tell you a bit about myself. I like to think of my travel style as a blend of an explorer and a drifter type. As I've grown up, I've come to realize that the journey itself is just as important as the destination. I love getting off the beaten track, seeking out unique places, and maintaining some comforting routines during my travel. Well, who doesn't want and appreciate reliable lodging and transportation, right? It's all about finding the sweet spot between exploration and comfort. You might ask why El Nido? Well, El Nido is a tropical paradise in Palawan, known for its pristine white beaches, blue waters, coral reefs, and stunning limestone cliffs. It perfectly aligns with my travel style seamlessly combining adventure and relaxation. It is a coastal type of destination which embodies the three S, the sun, sea, and sand. Resorts are also within the striking distance of the beach, water-based activities are one of the main attractions, and long stays in common. The most common way to get there is by taking a plane from Manila to Puerto Princesa, and then taking a van from Puerto Princesa to El Nido. It will take you a day, but it's the cheapest way to go. Another good option is to take a direct flight from Manila to El Nido. That way, you don't spend too much of your holiday time in the transportation. However, it's more expensive and may not be appropriate for backpackers traveling on a tight budget. You know what? When I'm in El Nido, I like to explore independently rather than going for package tours. It allows me to connect with the locals, get their advices, and discover those hidden gems that aren't part of the typical tourist itinerary. I get to decide my daily activities based on my interests and local recommendations, making every day unique and exciting. And of course, let's not forget about the food. I love trying local dishes like tamilok, a traditional Palawan delicacy made from a woodworm found in mango trees, and kaadas, a delicious soup made with pork, papaya, and ginger. Now, when it comes to accommodation, I prefer places like homestays or guest houses which you can easily book through online travel agencies like Agorda and Booking.com. These platforms offer a wide range of options, from homely stays to more budget-friendly, comfortable lodgings. But don't get me wrong, El Nido still offers top-notch resorts, hotels, bars and restaurants like Seda Leo Resort, Puka Bar, and Alco, which is a top-notch Italian cuisine that provides that level of extra comfort and reliability. Speaking of which, Let's dive into slow travel. You see, I was inspired by shows like Dora the Explorer when I was a kid, and I bet you know that. Now, I'm all about taking my time to fully immerse in a destination. It's about appreciating the journey within the destination. To make this work, of course I've made some adjustments. I allocate more time to explore the breathtaking beaches, lagoons, and coral reefs. I focus on few key activities each day so I can truly savor and absorb the beauty of El Nido. I've also taken my interactions with the locals to another level, like longer conversations, participation in local events, and even volunteering in the community, which definitely enriches my experience. When it comes to transportation, I'm down for slower modes of transport, like island hopping by traditional boats. This offers a more immersive perspective of the area and its journey in itself. Plus, it's more eco-friendly. In El Nido, I prioritize cultural experiences as well. It means participating in traditional activities like sawali making, nipa making, and a carabao on its cart. Local crafts like bamboo crafts, nito baskets, booty bags, as well as souvenir items like keychains and ref magnets. I guess I'm gaining deeper understanding of the local culture and its uniqueness. Now, you might wonder how this fits into the new breed of travelers. Post-pandemic, it's all about safety, reducing the need for frequent travel, and promoting a controlled and relaxed space. Slow travel is in harmony with the growing environmental consciousness and caters to adaptability in uncertain circumstances. Plus, it aligns perfectly with its increasing desire for mental and emotional well-being in a post-pandemic world. Oh, and for fellow backpackers like me, El Nido is an adventure you won't want to miss. Minimalistic packings, which involves carrying fewer items, allows us to move around more freely 
and reduces the stress of managing excess luggages. Affordable accommodations like hotels or guest houses helps maximize our budget. Utilizing local transportation such as tricycles and public vans allows us to navigate the region independently and that exciting backpacking spirit of adventure and cultural immersion, all of which is an enriching experience during my five days and four nights stay in this place. So there you have it, my fellow explorers and drifters, slow travel in Alito Palab, a perfect blend of exploration and comfort, now with a hint of post-pandemic awareness. Stay tuned for more vlogs and until the next time, keep exploring and embracing the journey within the destination. Thanks for joining me.